Hey gang, welcome back again to Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy where the proof is in the singing. I'm gonna do how to sing like David Draymond from Disturbed, the song Sound of Silence, and I happen to have the isolated vocal stems, the isolated vocals here, so we're gonna work from that so we can hear all of David's nuance. Now I wanna separate it into two sections. I wanna do the lower part first, and then we'll come back and we'll do the high part. But before we get started, if you wouldn't mind, please like and subscribe to my channel. That would be really cool. I also have a singing course. That course is called How to Sing Better Than Anyone Else. And you can find it right here at KenTamplinVocalAcademy.com. I also have a free singing forum where there's over 20,000 members in there talking about how to get to all of these really cool places, how to learn how to sing if you're just getting started, if you're an intermediate singer, you wanna get better, or if you're an advanced singer and you wanna get really, really good. It's all in there and it's all in my singing course. So. With that said, I just want to get started. I'm going to play it and we're going to discuss it a line at a time, okay? Now, uh, with that said, no further ado, here we go. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Because a vision softly creeping. Okay, I want to stop it right there. Uh, because I want to talk about the mood of the song first, okay? It's not just about notes, it's not just about technique, it's not just about range, it's about the mood that he's in when he starts the song. Now we all know the song pretty good and it's got a lot of attention, but it starts out really sensitive and really passionate and just he's in the story so much. So um, I think that's what a lot of people really loved about the song and then of course it gets very intense at the end and it has different um, levels of intensity as it goes through particularly when it goes to the high part that's why I want to separate them out for a mood and also for resetting up the voice and exactly how to do this okay I want to play this over because I just kind of dove right in and I don't think um, from the energy that I'm coming off of as, as I'm speaking to you I should have kind of slowed everything down calmed everything down and now we're gonna listen to it again in the in the spirit of how he's approaching this vocal so let's check it out Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Because a vision softly creeping. Okay, now the very first note I notice, I know the song way back from the Simon and Garfunkel days, and he's actually not going to the lowest note. Well, I'll, I'll do both versions, but he is coming in it from a very pillow talk or bedroom talk. So it's kind of like whispering in your ear and he's that soft on it. Now, having a big, beautiful microphone like this sucker, it's a Neumann M149, really helps show off all the little nuance of the voice. So that and a good preamp like the Avalon 737. By the way, I have a, I have a, um, a whole tutorial on different mic techniques. You can look up you know, how I get my killer vocal sounds because this is the kind of stuff that he's using to also get that dynamic range, okay? So with that said though, in the spirit of that, let's start with this. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Right? So what we really want to do, this now gets a little technical, is we want to take our larynx and we want to lower them. Uh, uh, uh. So if you have to sit there for a minute, go, uh, 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 uh. and kind of like a little bit of a fry sound to pull the larynx down into a really lowered position. And then he uses a lot of air. In fact, let's do it again so I can kind of just do this a line at a time so it's not just hearsay. We're actually going to uh, manually go through this. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Start there. Hello. So do it with me. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Hello, he's got a lot of air. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Now, I'm even a little too sing-songy on it. He's a little more dreamy, so he's like, Hello, darkness, my old friend. He's kind of covered on the sound, and he's like, he's like kind of dreaming and talking at the same time, like he's really dreaming through this lyric, and he's like whispering it to someone's ear. Let's do, do it with me. And, and it's a really lowered laryngeal position. Hello, darkness, my old friend. 
I've come to talk to you again. It's actually talk with you, sorry. Now, this was the note I was talking about that he doesn't go all the way down to. The original version goes, I've come to talk with you. It goes, I've come to talk with you again, is the original. So it'd be the original, if we were doing the original melody, it'd be, I've come to talk with you again. Try it. I've come to talk with you again. Now he goes, I've come to talk with you again. So he doesn't reach all the way down that low. Now I suspect he probably can, but um, in this case, and in both verses, when it's in this lower octave, he doesn't do that. He sings on the same note. So let's start with the first verse again. Here we go. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. You hear all that air? He's adding a lot of air. He's not adding a lot of voice in the sound. So he's not really using a lot of voice, right? So let's listen to it one more time. This is going to be a little bit of a tutorial, guys, to go through all this. So if you really want to know, this is how we do it, okay? Darkness, my old friend. And there's almost no effect. I've come to talk with you again. You again. He kind of hangs on the NG. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Right? So again, he's real sensitive. Now, like I, I kind of spit out in between his phrases and interrupt what it, what interrupted what he was singing. He's not using any reverb effect so that it sounds like it's right here in your face. And he's probably has a good spit screen. I'm not using one right now because a lot of times if I move around, I don't really need one in a room until I, until I start really yelling into a microphone. But um, so he's probably really close to the mic like this. Hello, darkness, my old, hello, hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Right, so he's got the real low resonance. So let's do the next verse. Here we go. Because a vision softly creeping. Okay, now he's using that covered sound with his mouth. Because a vision softly creeping. So he's got, oh, he's rolling his R's. He's taking his R's like this, and he's closing down his mouth. Because a vision softly creeping, he's using a very covered sound. Left its seed while I was sleeping. Now I know sometimes he holds his notes longer and I'm not getting the exact phrasing of the way he's doing this in the exact pocket um, phrasing in the way he's doing it. It doesn't make sense to go through all of that, but I can show you the spirit, the nature, you know, the the sensitivity, um, the emotion, and whatnot that he's doing this with. So let's let's move on and take a listen. Left it seems when I was leaving. He's kind of slurring his words too, right? So it's like I said, it's really dreamy. Left it seems while I was sleeping. Right? He's not really accentuating all the consonants. He's being very loose on, on how articulate he is or how much he's articulating the consonants. Let's continue. And the vision that was planted in my brain. Cool. He almost doesn't even sing the P of planet. He goes, he starts really airy on and, and then he goes into the vision. He adds a lot of voice. So it goes, and the vision. So he's kind of like starting to let you know that he's waking up, right? He's waking up the voice. He's waking up the story. He's kind of picturing this more in his mind. So let's do it again. And the vision, actually more air. And the vision that was planted, or no, not even the P. That was planted in my brain. Right? So he, so he kind of skates over these consonants. He doesn't really sing the P. Let's do it one more time. And the vision that was planted in my brain. Now, He's really gentle on his notes. So he's being very careful, very theatrical. It's kind of like a guy walking out 
on a stage in a theater and he's he's singing to you his story and he's really wants you to understand this heartfelt thing that he's saying rather than being really sing-songy on it. And he's kind of known for that too, as being, you know, really passionate about that. And he, he doesn't care so much about being really bluesy or sing-songy. It's emotion, passion, you know, energy, um, just guttural, you know, energy and strength and, and whatnot. So let's move on. Let's here we go. Still remains within the sound of silence. So he does a fall off on still. He goes, still remains or still remains. Right? Let me listen to it one more time because I know he messed with some of the notes of the original. So hold on. Within the sound Oops, let me go back a little bit farther. Sorry. Here we go. That was planted in my brain. Still remains. Scoops. Still remains. Within the sound so still remain do that with me still remains within the sounds sound singular let's do it again still remain within the sound of silence do you hear how really soft and really sensitive he is on this, right? Let's continue. Here we go. In restless dreams I walked alone Narrow streets of cobblestone So you notice he's starting to wake up the voice, so In restless dreams I walked alone Narrow streets of cobblestone. Right? Now, the original melody is In unrestless dreams I walked alone. Narrow streets of cobblestone. It's pretty low. Narrow streets of cobblestone. That's the original version. But like I said, in the second verse here, he goes, Narrow streets of cobblestone. So do it with me. So, so like if we were to do this whole thing from the start, I want you to see how this is all connected, okay? So, Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. A lot of air. Because a vision softly creeping left its seats while I was sleeping. And the vision that was planted in my brain still remains within the sound of silence. In restless dreams I walked alone, narrow streets of cobblestone, neath the halo of a street lamp. I turned my collar to the cold and damp. Right? You're going to hear him start to lean in it. So you notice I started really soft. And little by little, I'm turning up the volume, turning up the volume, turning up the intensity, turning up the volume, just like he did. So let's listen how he pr approaches it here. Neath the halo of a street lamp. He's still pretty mellow. Hey, street I lamp. My collar to oh, that's right. The I forgot. I, t I turn my collar to the... He changes the melody. I turn my collar to the cold and damp. So he's still real soft on it, right? Here we go. Cold and damp. Cold and damp. When my eyes were stemmed by the flash of a neon light. Do that with me. Notice again how he's slurring through his words. It's, it's when my eyes were stabbed by the flash of a neon light. Would be if you were to articulate this and enunciate this. But he's not so worried on the theater stage of you kind of hearing what he's saying as much as feeling what he's saying. And there's a big important uh, component to that. So let me just, 
When my eyes were stared by the flash of a neon light. Like you can almost not really make out what I'm saying, right? It's real slurry and real kind of psychedelic in the way he's doing this. So let's continue. Here we go. Let's split the night and touch the sound of silence. So and split, uh, and split, so we've got that cover sound again, and split the night, and touch the sound of silence, right, so you gotta kind of dig back, and touch the sound of silence, let's continue. And in the naked light I saw Now, some people are going to really hate me for saying this, but it must be said. I know he did a TV version where he used auto-tune, and you can hear it. And in some of these notes, I'm not going to swear to it, but I think he would even cop to it, that there was some auto-tune correction on little notes here and there. The difference is, is you can tell, and by the way, Auto-tune is the killer of emotion and passion and nuance and all the little carbuncles that make us human. It takes away all that. So they were very judicious on where they used it. And I could go back through and point exact, all out exactly where I feel like it got used. But I don't want to get caught up in that because it's such a wonderful piece and he did such a great job on it. I'm not here to call out David Draymond for using auto-tune on this stuff. I'm here to show you how the song was sung. So, But know that you can hear some auto-tune being used throughout some of these sections. And even here when he goes, And in the naked light I saw, right? You can start to hear it there but and then in other sections too. So. Again, I don't want to overemphasize it, but in my heart, I really believe, and I'm pretty positive that I know that he did use some of that. So I want to make that comment along the way. Do I think he needed it? No, I don't. I've heard him do the song quite a few times, and he admitted to use, or they said they made him use it on TV, I think, or something. After you guys can correct me in the comment sections. I'm not. That's not what this is about. I'm not making it about this. So let's move on to the next section here, um, and it's going to start to go up. Now, the more it goes up, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop the tape, and I'm gonna come back, and I'm gonna reset us up for thinking about how to sing the high parts because it comes off such a sensitive thing where the high part starts to build and build and build. So I want to build the high parts just like I built the low parts up to this point. So let's grab this one more time. Take a listen. Here we go. Of silence. Of silence. And in the naked light I saw 10,000 people, maybe more. Now, notice he's not all in, he hasn't dropped the hammer down to be all in, but he comes in on the lyric where you go, and in the naked light I saw 10,000 people, maybe more, and he's got that really covered sound. But something else happens in the track, and it's kind of interesting that we have an isolated vocal version that they actually left in some of the effect. I don't think they left in all the effect, but they left in some of the reverbs and delay. So after he gets out of this really intimate, in-your-face kind of sound, because they add this delay and because they add the reverb, it pulls the sound back. He probably backed off the microphone too, so he's probably about this far off the microphone now, kind of like I am. And you can hear it goes away from being really close and intimate to kind of like singing to the masses. Real, right, listen, I'm gonna play this back. I want you to hear and touch to the sound of silence when he's singing low, and then I'm gonna play it where he goes up top, and you can hear him go up top. I want you to listen really closely to this because you can hear the reverbs kick in, and then how the sound gets bigger, but farther back, it's pushed farther back. Here we go, check it out. Let's split the night. No effect. And touch the sound of silence. Hear that? No effect. Now watch and it. in the naked light I saw 10,000 people, maybe more. Okay, now, so. And in the naked light I saw 
Ten thousand people, maybe more. He's kind of leaning in, coming back, leaning in, coming back. But the effects are taking over, and so now he gets to get big on the sound, and he's not trying to be so intimate. He's kind of preaching to the masses, okay? So now I'm gonna stop this here, and I'm gonna set us up for talking about and going through the higher parts so we can negotiate these parts just like we did the lower parts, okay? Here we go. Okay, now as we get into the second section of this, the reason I wanted to split this up is because as David starts out the song, he starts it out really gentle and really intimate, really soft, and it progressively builds more and more and more as he goes. So it not only does um, his voice build, but his distortion, his intensity, his ferociousness and so forth continues to um, to escalate and become more and more intense towards the end. Now there's also an increase in effects. So where he starts out in the, in the effects, you know, uh, yeah, uh, and in the naked light, night I saw, so we're gonna do this in a minute, but in the naked night I saw 10,000 people, maybe more. We kind of covered that a little bit. We're gonna go into it again. Um, you're gonna hear how the effects increase, his power increases, his roaring lion, David increases. And so I'm gonna do the naked vocal version of it so you'll hear it without effect and you're going to say oh Ken that doesn't sound anything like him but then it's going to really surprise well, not anything like him but it, you know that doesn't sound like you know the original track um, but then as I come over I'm going to add some effect to this I've created a bus and I'm just going to um, you know come up and bring up some of the kinds of effects that they used and so you're going to hear how this effect takes um, on a whole different persona of how big the voice gets in reality the voice is smaller than when you add the effect so let's just do this a line at a time. So I'm gonna go ahead and play it. I'll sing it a line. I'll explain it as we go. And then um, I'm gonna come back and then I'm gonna uh, come over here and play back what I did with the effect on it so you can hear this in context of how it was done in the studio. So anyway, let's just do this now. I'll play it. And in the naked light I saw Kind of 10,000 people, maybe more. Okay, let's just stop there for a second. So he kind of comes in a little heavy and then he backs up. So, and, and in the naked light I saw, he kind of backs off there. 10,000 people, maybe more. And I know I'm not getting his phrasing exactly right, but he kind of pushes it a little bit and then he backs off a little bit. He's a little more genteel on it as he goes. Let's do the next line. Here we go. People talking without speaking. Now he still has that kind of covered sound, and he's actually really long in the vowel. He's not very bright in the face. So people, to or people talking without speaking. He's got that er uh, er uh kind of sound to him, right? Uh, next one, here we go. Um, in fact, let me just back both of those up because I think, um, if I'm not mistaken, people talking without speaking and then people hearing without listening, people writing songs, he takes those lines and he kind of brings them together so they don't, they're not quite that separated as the uh, previous part of the song. So let's listen to this Maybe again. Maybe more people talking without speaking people hearing without And no one dare disturb the sound of silence. Okay, let's break this all down. So, uh, and people, uh, people talking. Let me get the er, er. People talking without speaking. People hearing without listening. People writing. Songs that voices never shared, and no one did disturb the sounds of silence. Okay, so here you have, you know, this kind of build up. He stays really long in the vowel. What do I mean by that? He doesn't go. People writing songs, and he doesn't get real bright in the face. He stays real long and thick and covered in the sound. So um, I wanted to kind of separate this out because as he goes a little farther, he becomes more and more aggressive as he goes. So let's check this out. Here we go, and more distortion and so forth. 
Fool said, I you do not know. Silence like a cancer grows. Let's start with those. Fool said, I can I do this? Uh, uh, uh. Fool said, I you fool said, I you do not know. Silence like a cancer grows. Right, so he's got this kind of, he's leaning in and he's kind of like, he's kind of doing this to you, right? So, and I know the melodies in mind, I'm not trying to match him exactly, but I'm giving you the point of exactly, you know, the spirit by which he's doing this. Next line, here we go. Hear my words and I might teach you. Now, it's kind of interesting, man. Hear my words and I might teach you. Right, so he is kind of coming in with a little bit of mask there, and he isn't quite as long in the vowel on this section, okay? Now, um, I know his voice fairly well, and I know that he's gonna stay kind of long because it's a modern sound, more modern sound to keep it er, 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 real covered in the sound, but let's play it where we duplicate it, and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna um, audition this with some effects to see what it sounds like, okay? Here we go. Take my arms and I'm a hide reach you. Right? So he's kind of leaning in, giving a little more, more of the David distortion that we come to know and love about David. Here we go. But my words, like silent raindrops fell. Cool. Now right there on silent raindrops fell, he drops the hammer down and starts really distorting his voice. So, but my word, in fact he goes, but my words and he kind of hits it real, like a lot of, um, uh, almost operatically, right? So he comes in, excuse me, nah, makes you want to burp when you do that, especially if you're eating before this, you're not supposed to eat before you sing, but I had to eat something because I was kind of shaky hungry. Anyway, but my words, like silent raindrops fail. Right, so he's really starting to lean into that sound, right? All right, let's continue, here we go. And by the way, we'll talk about how to get to that safely. And he's been doing this a long time, so he's developed some some pretty quality distortion in his voice. Uh, so it's not like you can go straight to that kind of a sound. This is a very maturated sound, it's matured over time. And uh, that's why he's able to do this that way. So let's continue. And echoed in the wells of silence. Now I have to say something that kind of reminds me of like, echoes in the wells of silence. You know, it's very gothic almost. You know what I mean? It's kind of kind of got a gothic sort of vibe to it. Uh, but anyway, let's continue. All right, here we go. Whoops. And the people bowed and prayed. And now he's doing the David Draymond thing. And the people bowed and prayed. Right, next line, here we go. To the neon god they made. Now there's a harmony on they made, and I'm not gonna go through the, you know, doing that, but to the neon god. He's got that real long, to the neon god they made. Right, he's got that real kind of sound coming at you. You know, again, it's that maturated distortion, very unique sound, and it's pretty. It's a pretty cool tone that he's got. So let's continue. In the sign flashed out in his morning, and the words that it was for me. Now, if you notice when he said, in the words, he brightened up the face again to kind of not get caught in the throat so he could get his pitch, you know, could be the intonation be good, be good on that section. Let me back it up one more time so you could check this out. Here we go, check it out. And the sign flashed out in its warning. Let's do that. And the sign flashed out its warning. Ah. Okay, he does that. Next line, here we go. And the words that it was for me. So it's in the words that he was, right? In the words that he was for me. Right, and I, I've got to get the melodies a little better, but I'm kind of making my point in, in just his approach and how he's getting to these uh, places and spaces in the throat. Here we go. In the signs and the words on the prophets are written on the subway walls. Now, he kind of stays 
really staccato, and I don't want to use the word stiff, but really straight on the rhythm of this. And the sign said the words of the prophets were written on the subway walls. I'm going to back this up. So listen, he's not, he doesn't care so much about um, swag and blues in this. It's almost like, and the sign said the words. You know, so it's almost, I don't say robotic, but it's very um, militant kind of in the way, or, you know, a very, very straight on the sound. Let me play it again and then I'll sing it. Here we go. And the words said it was for, and the words said it was for me. For me. Here we go. This is what the part. In the signs and the words on the prophets are written on the subway walls. Right? So let's do that. So, um, and the signs and the words of the prophets were written on the subway walls. Right? And the, I mean, he goes written on, but I didn't do it quite that same way. But, and the signs and the words of the prophets were written on the subway walls and tenement halls. Right? He's real on that and real straight on the sound. Next one, here we go. In tenement halls, halls. and whispered in the sound of silence. Okay, so again, it's very almost gothic at the end. So, and whispered in the sounds of silence, right? So he gets real, and he pulls it back. Sounds of silence, right? So he kind of comes back full circle to the way he started the song. So it has this incredible dynamic range. It starts here, and it builds, 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 and it builds. And at the last minute, he kind of leaves you with the same feeling that he started you with in the song, which I think is really genius. I think it's all this passion, all this emotion, and all this, you know, just really kind of just taking you a lot of places in the song that makes it really interesting for me. So what I want to do is I'm going to stop again for a second. I want to come over here and actually um, take the stuff that I just sang and I just want to manipulate the reverb so you can hear it. I'll put it on a separate track that'll have um, just the effect of exactly what we just did um, so you can hear the difference now so that it's not just the naked vocal by itself but what it actually sounds like with effects and then we'll close out and then I think we did a pretty good job doing a takedown of the song. So with that said, let's do it. Here we go. Okay, so now let's take a listen to what this sounds like with some effects on it. And uh, so what I did was I just grabbed the pieces that we just did in our narration live and um, I, I cut and pasted them to a separate track. So you can see all I did was grab the little pieces and we're going to scroll through them with effects, right? Now I haven't put any effects on yet. Um, so I'm going to do that right now and you can kind of hear, but I did do some uh, preliminary work and I did some effects that kind of sounded like what was on the record uh, enough. And so let's just kind of go through each one. Now let me explain each one as I go. So you can clearly hear that they put a little bit of a room sound on his voice. It almost creates like a doubler effect, but a little bit of a room sound then a little bit of a longer room sound, then a really long room sound. So they had kind of a couple, three different effects and then they have a delay and they use quite a bit of delay. So I probably won't use as much delay because it's a little annoying to me to have it be real um, messy. Delays are kind of messy for me. But anyway, I'll, I'll do it and you'll hear it as I go. So let's just do the first effect and we'll do the first one and then I'll just leave it up so you can hear them for the rest of them, okay? So here's the very first one. So the very, very first effect I'm gonna put on, sorry if I have to turn my back to you for a second, but the very first effect I'm going to put on is a room sound. So let's do this one first here. Here goes my room sound. And in the naked light I saw, he kind of backs off. All right, so there's one room. Then I'm going to put a second room on it. Here we go. Uh, I add more to it. And in the naked light I saw, he kind of backs off there. Then I'm going to put a, a more of a long reverb sound like they have. Here's the next one. Here we go. Um, and in the naked light I saw, he kind of backs off there. 
10. But a little bit of delay because they had quite a bit of delay. So I've pre-done these so we can have them kind of about, you know, not take too much time to do this. But here comes some delay. And in the naked light I saw, he kind of backs off. Now, I'm going to scroll through each one of these so we can have these, you know, on, on, um, on here so you can a, B, what it sounded like with just, you know, no effect and then with the effect because it makes a tremendous difference. So let's play the first one. Here we go. And in the naked light I saw, he kind of backs off there, 10,000 people, maybe more. And that was real gentle and real ginger and it, it progressively gets more intense as it goes. So let's, let's move to the next one here. Uh, take a second here. There was a lot of talking. <laughs> so let me a bit more right. People talking without speaking. People hearing without listening. People writing songs. That voices never shared. And no one did disturb the sounds of silence. Obviously, I'm not trying to go for perfection. I didn't sit here and, you know, really work all this up. I just listened to it and then tried to reproduce it for you guys. So I'm not claiming this is a big, amazing vocal demonstration, but I think it gets the point across about all the different elements of dynamic that comes into making something like this. So let's go to the next, next one. Here we go. Full set. Full set. Are you do not know? Silence like a cancer grows. Right, so he's got one. Right here. Take my arms and I might reach you. Right? You hear how, how much bigger it sounds, and it makes me sound a lot more authoritative and a lot more mysterious, and, and, and um, you know, just sounds more expensive, right? Like, you know, look, like a good recording. Here we go. Let's go to the next one. My, 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 my. But my words, like silent raindrops fail. Right, so you, next one. Here we go. To the neon god they made! Right. And the sign flashed out its warning! Huh? In the words that he was forming! Right. That one was a little sloppy in the melody, but hey, that's what we did, so. Uh, next one, here we go. It's a little bit of ways I talked a bit. Right here. And the wood said it was for me. So I grabbed that same line twice because I sang it, I said it twice in the thing, so I guess I grabbed them both, sorry. And then let's go to the next one. Here we go. And the sign said the words of the prophets were written on the subway walls. And tell And whispered in the sounds of silence. Right? So basically all I did was I took the pieces out so you could hear them, you know, when I originally did it, you hear it without effect and with effect. And so I know this is a, a real sort of Neanderthal sort of, you know, I don't know. <laughs> kind of way to build it up and show you, but at least it, as, as naked and raw as it is, you can see how you build these things, how you go in, you know, I know he went in line by line and did every take differently. And, and for you audiophiles out there, um, I didn't change any compression settings and you can clearly hear when they recorded it, when he 
had this stuff that was really up close and personal, there was a very different compression setting and his distance on the mic was very different. Mine was all the same because I was talking and singing all at the same time. But I think you get the point, gang. So hopefully this was very helpful. Um, this is how to sing like David Draymond, uh, Disturbed, and the song is Sound of Silence. And uh, we've got more coming your way, so check out my next video.